Hey guys, welcome to the April 2020 edition of Smash the Crate. Don't forget you can get $10 off your very first Keto Crate by using the link in the description box below. But also stick around to the end and we will be drawing a winner for a free Keto Crate of your own that I'm going to be giving away. Okay, hopping into this crate, Mom, once again, I'm assuming you did not watch the video. But I did. Do you time. did? Okay, I good. Did. So okay, so you know what we're looking at. Yes, so, because there's a lot of stuff in here that we know we love. I know. Flavored nuts, though. I oh, saw my that. gosh. Oh. Exactly. I'm not so much looking forward to that. But, like, moon cheese. Oh, I know. So we got I the high like, key cookies. Yes. We have a lot of things in here that yes. we know we're going to like. I'm so, so let's just jump into it. Uh, I'm going to start once again from savory to sweet. sweet. Yes. Yeah. Um, first of all, what we will not be trying oh, is I saw, that. Oh, I saw that meat Look at it this. It is you just, it's hot dog size. I mean, it's, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. It is a hot dog. Yeah, like, it is, it is too huge. big. That like, is, that's what she said. I mean, this but, is disgusting. Yes, we're not going to be trying mm, this bag. No. no, no thanks. Thank okay, so the next thing we're going to be hopping into is the pork rinds. Okay, I'm No, I am excited for these pork rinds. These are crispy cuts. We had like the chipotle kind last time. Mm -hmm. Remember, they were really good, but these are Parmesan pepper corn. Oh, that sounds yeah, good. Yeah, that actually sounds really good. They had me at Parmesan. Rip uh, it. Uh, what? I mean, really? Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, I you just had to like pull on the pressure points. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna grab one That's and it. grab one. Okay, okay, I definitely see the pepper in yes. the peppercorn. All right, let's give it a go. Mm. Mm. Very peppery. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I'm not getting a lot of Parmesan. I'm it's getting a ton of pepper. I'm getting the Parmesan in the smell of it. Mm. Tasting, no, but it's delicious though. I mean, do you taste the pepper? Mm. I mean, first of all, you can see the pepper. Mm -hmm. Let's get one up close and personal. Mm -hmm. Lean in, mom. Cover the faces. Yeah, you, can you see those flecks on there? Mm -hmm. I mean, that is that is peppercorned up at its best. It was nice. That's good. I mean, once again, I'm giving this a tier two. No, I don't see that. If I got it in a, in a giveaway or a keto crate, these are delicious. I would keep these around. Yes. And if she got them, I'd keep them. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, I am thirsty. Big glue. Woo. Woo. That was good though. Mm. You see my pinky out? Oh my god, you are not fancy. Shout out to Crazy Ketos. Yes, of course. Okay, next we're going to try. Peeps. Oh my gosh. Next we are going to try these legendary nuts. Oh. Pizza flavored nuts, you guys. Why? Okay, so these are legendary foods, uh, pizza flavored nuts. Why? See my I mean, just I, there's just no reason for your nuts to be flavored like pizza. And really, that's what she. Oh said. gosh, um, just a lot of powder there. Sorry yeah. about that. You can just put that right there. Little that's pizza another thing. Dust? Yeah, pizza that's dust. another thing with all these. It's so powdery. Oh, okay. I mean, that kind of tastes like pizza. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's actually not horrible. It's not horrible. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, it's like I mean, once again, tier two. I'm never buying these. I'm never saying, do you know what I need? Some nuts that taste like pizza. Okay. Like, but. I'm like, I'm like a pizza? Yeah. It tastes like pizza. Yeah. I don't need my. <laughs> you don't nuts. need her nuts. It tastes like, like pizza. pizza. You talking about? Yeah, right. I mean, I agree. Though. Definitely not turning them down, though. I'm so glad. Yeah, that look, we've had some horrible, horrible flavored nuts before. Yes, we have. Those ain't nuts. Yeah, those aren't there. So, hey, yes. Okay. Yeah. A lot of dust, though. Yeah, it is too much dust. Yeah. Okay, next we are going to try the Quavos. Oh, ooh, yes, when y'all saw those on there, I'm like, yes, I can't wait. Yeah, so these are egg white bites, Quavos sour cream and onion flavor. Okay. I'm, I know we've had these before, like, we like them. We've had them in a keto crepe before? Mm hmm. Mm. Maybe you forgot, but you've you been a remember today. Mm, let me see if my memory come, come, come in the back. Oh, they look familiar. Okay. Uno dos three. No. I, I like, like this. Yeah, me too. I think anything in, in keto that you can get like a crunch to, like chip, you know, mm -hmm. crunch is then it's good. Mm -hmm. It's a score. I like it's it. really airy. Mm -hmm. It disintegrates. You can't really dip these in anything, right. but right. they taste just like sour cream and onion. Yeah. It's a delicious crunch. I am here for it. Yeah, I'm here for Definite it. tier two. Once again, the only reason I'm not buying these is because I don't know of a place you can get them in the stores. Okay. Like, if, if these were in Meyer right next to the Quest chips, 
I totally pick some up, you know, but I just, I really don't order a lot of my food online, so I'm not going out of my way to get these, but they are delicious. I understand. Yes, they were. They were really yeah. delicious. Okay, next, moon cheese. Oh, yeah. We about to do it right like, here. There's just no, there's nothing to say. This is moon cheese, and it is delicious. Moon like, cheese is yeah, don't, moon cheese is a double hand oh, scoop. No, like, no. go ahead and pour as many as you yeah, want in there. I know. I ain't mad at you. Okay, you guys, it looks like this. If you're not familiar, just little pellets of cheese look like they're from outer space. Listen to this crunch. Mm. Crunchy cheese. I was being a fatty and I just ate them all together. Mm. Mm. So you gotta savor the mud. I eat exactly. moon cheese. Piece by piece. Maybe I'll savor the next. No. Mm, oops. No more. You can get Delicious. These, you can get these at Whole Food, and you can get, and they have different flavors at Whole Food because they have smaller bags. Mm -hmm. Or you can just get the huge bag of just cheddar cheese at Costco. Like, mm. so good. Yeah. There. Those are tier one. I have and do buy right, these all yes. the time. You know, um, I find moon cheese at Big Lots. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then it's a competitive price. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not like high or regular. Yeah. I feel like Big Lots is one of those fell off the back of a truck. Right. It's like exactly. a surplus, you know. We got some moon cheese. Yeah, you know, it's like, it, or maybe it's like you can find it like a TJ Maxx or something. Yeah, it's right like whatever they just right. happened to get that week, they yes. put out on the shelf. Okay, I think that's all the savory stuff. So now we're yeah. gonna move into, oh my gosh. I mean, I'm excited, sweet, sweet. Now we're gonna move into the sweet stuff. The first thing I'm gonna try are these Revel snacks matcha latte bites like just so many words I'm not, I, I don't, don't know, know how I'm feeling about any of I know right I'm I'm kind of weary we had the rebel snacks the chocolate ones before mm -hmm. and they were delicious however matcha latte I'm not sure oh. ergo I don't know matcha latte about that <laughs> I actually thought that was hilarious that was great <laughs> that was really really good once again, the Rebel Snacks, I mean, they look exactly how they look on the front. They're just these like... Uh, okay, I remember those. Yeah, they're just okay. these little button tab Oonkis. things. Or unkit, that's a great word. I just don't know what these are going to taste like. But here, go ahead and grab you one. Mm -hmm. Let's go for it. Okay. Mm. Coconutty. I was like, thankfully, all I did is coconut. Mm -hmm. That's very hearty. Like, the two bites I yeah. took, like... Yeah. That's mm -hmm. enough for me. Like, or you would need just maybe two, and that's it. No, like no, no, that. no, two is a serving. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. I, I understand. And for each two, there's only one net carb. Yeah, I mean, these are good. Tier one in my tier Oh, um, I mean, uh, these are delicious tasting. The only reason I'm not buying them, once again, I don't buy things on the internet. Like, But these are delicious. And like I said, if I found this stuff in the stores, it'd be a whole different game. But like... This, that was really good. So, in terms of matcha, don't know, I didn't know what matcha tasted like before. I feel like I still don't know what matcha tastes like. Because, like, that was coconut, you know? But it was delicious. But it does say matcha latte coconut. Coconut bites, but, I mean, all I got was coconut bites. They could have they literally left that whole part off there. You and that right. green coconut bites? You right. You right. Next, we're going to try these dang coconut chips. Dang, I can't believe they gave me this big bag of coconut I know. chips. It looks like the word mango somewhere on there. Yeah, it was, it's tropical mango. Dang, I mean, this package is dang, like, dang. Hard, dang, it's hard to open this package. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Uh, they look a lot bigger on the package. That was a you lot. You know what they look, they look like egg noodles. Like you about to boil your I think they look like fingernails. You're that's like, just, yeah, that's, I know, know that's better, weird. But they did, yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. Okay, they're like orange, yellow, and flavor, and they're small. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try these. I mean, they have a stale crunch to them. Yeah. Like, it's not the hint of mango, though. Mm -hmm. These are definitely not eat on your own. Like, this would be great on yogurt or something. Oh, yeah. Something. Even, mm. even on some whipped cream. Like, just whip you up some yes. cream and put these on top. These are definite, like, texture adders, but I'm not eating these by myself. Yeah. Or okay. by themselves. They're good. Yeah, they are good, though. Mm-hmm. I do like the crunch. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think that I would just like regular coconut better. Like, I don't need this mango flavor, but the coconut's good. These would be like those little sprinkles that you put on salads. Those little yeah. egg noodle thingies, yeah. mm -hmm. whatever, like you put on a salad. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Okay, next we have high key cookies. Yes. Have you tried these? No. But oh my I gosh. I saw these on the your uh, unboxing. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I can't wait. I have these like upstairs in, in my pantry. Like, I oh, buy yeah. these. I have bought these. These are delicious. They're like my favorite. They're mini cookies. Here, yeah. take some. Look at the mini cookies. They're teeny, they're tiny, they're delicious. Okay. Okay. Mmm, girl. That tastes like famous Amos in my food. Mm -hmm. Like just, those are just delicious cookies. High key, y'all doing the doggone thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. Yeah, High key, definitely one mm -hmm. of my favorite companies of uh, keto products. Since I buy a lot of their products, mm -hmm. I will go online to buy those because I buy the cookies, I buy the nut butters, I buy the baking mixes. Like High key has a lot of different stuff, so I'll go get like a batch order. Okay. But yeah, like High key tier one, I have bought them. Yes. I would buy them. Those All right. are delicious. Go High key. Mm -hmm. Have you, you ever had Nish cake? Yes, I have, but I've had it over here. Yeah. So Nish cakes are just like little muffin cakelet sort of things. Uh, this one is pineapple mango. That's why I am thinking I will not enjoy it as much as I enjoy the other flavors. They have like a carrot cake, they have blueberry, they have a lot of other Nish Cake flavors. I actually like the texture and taste of Nish Cakes. Otherwise. I like what they look like. Yeah, these squares are, you know, pretty legit. I always like stuff that you can have with coffee. I yeah. love coffee. You, you are so. a, yeah, yes. you do tend to lean toward like, yes, I do. this like, will go with coffee. Yes, if it goes with coffee, it goes with me. Oh my gosh, here. Okay. All right. Come on. Don't let me down. Oh my goodness. Smell the pineapple. If anything, this was nush, nush with a hint of pineapple. Yeah, it's fragrant of pineapple mm -hmm. more than taste. Yeah. Luckily, I, I mean, I haven't gotten a single pineapple chunk in this whole thing. So mm -hmm. it, it, it always feels like that bite that yeah. has like a, um, a, a spine layer of sugar on it. Like mm -hmm. granulated sugar. Like a little kind of, crusty. Yes. Okay, so overall for me, those are tier twos. Like, I'm not buying them with my own money, but I like niche cakes. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I think if you're looking for something to dip in a coffee yes. or like a like a carrot cakey sort of thing, like a pre-made mm -hmm. muffin for blueberry, like, niche cakes are really good. Yes, they Definitely are. recommend them. Okay, next to last, we're trying this Jimmy protein bar. I don't know who Jimmy is or why he deserves his own protein bar. But alas, it came in the keto crate and we're going to try it. This is macadamia nut, keto friendly, just Jimmy protein bar. So, Well, well Jimmy, we're going to give it a try. I know. So this feels smashed completely. Yeah, it is. It is pretty smashed. It's kind of oily as I suspected. Um, it's macadamia nut flavored, but there are chocolate chips in it. I don't think anywhere on here it mentions having chocolate chips in it, so that's kind of weird, but okay, mm. let's give it a try. Yes. It tastes like peanut butter. It does. I was looking for the word chocolate chip, and he's right. These are obvious chocolate chips, but... And I don't get macadamia nut. I get peanut butter. Oh, peanut butter. I feel mm -hmm. like there are almonds in there, but let's see. Peanuts, tapioca, oh, so peanut. So literally, why is it named macadamia nut and the first ingredient is peanuts? That does not make any sense. Jimmy. Okay, I'm just upset at like the packaging. Like exactly. it doesn't describe what's in what's here in at all. Like Jimmy, you got some explaining to do. I know, like this should basically be like a peanut chocolate chip protein bar. Yes. It tastes okay, yeah. I mean, I get this a tier three. If I get it for free, it's gonna sit in the pile, mm -hmm. but like, I, I was totally fine on my keto journey before Jimmy, and I'll be completely fine after Jimmy. Okay, so finally we're having the Stoka Bar. This is no ordinary Stoka Bar. This is the birthday cake flavored yeah. Stoka Bar. I have such high hopes. So Stoka Bars are like just delicious almond-based bars. Mm -hmm. um, they changed their formula up a while ago. Apparently they have lots of different flavors now. They used to just have like almond and cocoa, but with their new formula, they have a lot of new different flavors. Uh, I don't blame Stoka for this at all, but this bar is completely crumbled. Yeah, it's completely crumbled. This had to have happened before it got into the keto crate. So God bless the keto crates like shipping facility. We don't know what's happening in there, but okay. As you can see, it does have that Nature Valley color, you know, very almondy, um, very just like whole ingredients looking. Oh my God, I see some sprinkles. Oh my oh. God. All right, let's go. Here we go. Do it. Wow. wow. 
Too much. This tastes like birthday cake. Yummy. Wow. I don't know how you make a pile of almonds taste like birthday cake. But you did it. It's crunchy and the birthday cake flavor is there. Yes. I don't know if that's like cake batter extract or vanilla. I don't know what that birthday cake flavoring is, mm -hmm. but it's in there. It is. You know, like, and there are some sprinkles to boot. I think the sprinkles are clearly just for like visual, you know, like this is birthday cake. But regardless, one that is delicious. I'm gonna have to go Tier one online. Yeah, I'm hoping cool. that you don't have to buy them by the box. If you have to buy them by the box, we're gonna have a problem. But if I can go get a pumpkin spice and a birthday cake and a regular you and are. a chocolate, you know, if I can once again do a batch order that'll last me for a long time, that I mean that's really that was good. Very good. That is very, very good. good. Well done, Stoka Bar. Yes. Way to go out with a bang. Overall, I was very pleased with this oh, keto yes. curd. Like at first, I was kind of mixed because I was like, it's already so many things that I've had before. But to be honest, they good. Right, they so, good. So like, and nothing was really like bad. Nothing tasted Not bad. bad. You're right. right. Even though that Jimmy Bar was just like regular right, right, AF, right. the Nish Cake was just regular. Like nothing was disgusting. And if you know, honestly, a lot of the stuff was delicious. Yes. Those uh, Revel snacks were delicious. Mm -hmm. The high key cookies, the Stoka Bar. The moon, the moon cheese. cheese. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we had a lot of good stuff. Even the pizza flavored almonds weren't bad. Yeah, they so really like, weren't. I'm pleasant. this is a really good crate. Yes. Don't forget, you can get $10 off this crate if you use the link in the description box below. But one of y'all ain't even got to worry about that. Nope. Because you're going to win a free one right now. Now. Okay. So uh, everyone that commented on the April Keto Crate unboxing was entered in a drawing to win the extra free keto crate that I have and congratulations to that person right now. Oh my head? god, no, no, my no it's down here. Oh, oh, it's down there. Hey! Oh my god! You congratulations, you won! Send me an email to watchautumnketo at gmail.com and I'll get this one in the yes. mail. I mean, this was a good one. Yes. I was on the fence, but actually after trying so everything, good. it's really good. Okay, you guys, have you tried any of these things? What did you think? What would have been your favorite thing out of this month's Keto Crate? If you've tried it, if you were thinking about trying it, let me know. Let me know your thoughts about this Jimmy bar, because to me, Jimmy is real regular. Otherwise, there was a lot of, lot of good so stuff in here this good month. things that I can't wait to take the rest of them home. Oh my gosh, yeah, we about to fight over here after this camera goes off. <laughs> See you next month. Bye! Bye.